Hey what's up guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to make cars for Assetto Corsa. Now before we start this tutorial you're going to need a few things. The first thing you need is a 3D modeling program. I'm using 3ds Max myself but you can also use um, like Blender for example which is a free program. Um, the second thing you need is you need a photo editor. I'm using Photoshop myself but again you can use something else if you'd like to. As long as it can ed edit DDS files. And then the third thing you need is you need the game itself, a set of Corsa. Otherwise, you won't be able to export your mods to the game, and and you won't be able to test your mods. And then the last thing you need is you need a 3D model, which yeah, it's pretty obvious. Otherwise, you won't be able to like <laughs> like uh, make a car at all. All right, so the model I have right here, I've already prepared it for for this tutorial. It's a Subaru Impreza WRX STI 2004. It's a Forza model. Forza 4 model to be exact, so it's going to look pretty good. Alright, let's just load this 3DS Max up. Alright. Okay, missing textures. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Not in here at least. Alright, um, this is the car. And yeah, the only thing we're gonna do right now in this uh, in this first part of the tutorial, we're just gonna make the wheels uh, so that that they are work in so that they work in game. That's the most important part. And we're gonna do a few um, shaders and texture settings. All right. So to start off with, you're gonna have the rims right here and the, the tires. And all those objects need to have a specific name, otherwise they don't work in game. So, for example, the rims, they will need to have the name, oh, shit, okay, like that. You're going to have to name them na name like this, rim, and then the position of the wheel. So, LF means left front, in this case. And then you're going to click enter, and there you go. And now you, the rim blur, which is um, used when the wheel is spinning quickly. It's gonna switch to that specific uh, like object, All right? So and that needs to have the name rim blur lf in this case. Oh shit! Oh, damn it! Okay, rim blur lf. This is left front, and then you need to have the tire, which is gonna be called tire left front, like that. Right, and now you're gonna do that for each of these wheels. You're gonna have to, you're gonna name them like that. So I'm just gonna fast forward. So yeah, this just takes time. I want to like explain as much as I can in one in each part of the video. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. And as you can see, I've done all the um, all the names of the rims and tiles. And now we're gonna move on to the calipers and and to the rotors. To the the brake discs, right? So for the brake discs, you want to have them called disc, and then the position of the wheel. So for for the right front right here, you want to call them like this. Oh, disc R F, and then left right, a uh, left rear, I mean. <laughs> Go like this. Disc L F, and disc R okay that's your discs and then the last thing you want to do is the calipers and I don't think these to ha these need to have a specific name so you can just leave them like this but to make it easy you can rename them like for example caliper and then um, the position of the wheel or something which will this was LR I'll just do that right now oh, caliper RF Caliper, um, what was that? RR, and then caliper LF. All right, there you go. That's that's all the objects we need right here. Just gonna save the project. All right, the next thing we gotta do is we're gonna need some dummies, which we can make right here. Help us, and then dummy. And you can just make them like this. Doesn't really matter how big they are, I think. 
and then you're gonna name him like wheel and then the position of the wheel again so LF uh, RR LR and RF that's one dummy you need well you need four of those for each wheel one and then you're gonna need another dummy for each wheel which will be called susp and then the position of the wheel again so I'm just gonna remove this one because I've I've made a little template where all the dummies uh, yeah have to have to write um, write pivot points so they they show up good in game the wheels all right so I'm just gonna import that now let me just click here import desktop uh, tools AC dummies as you can see you will import these eight dummies and I will include this uh, template uh, as a download in this uh, video in the description. Um, what you're gonna do with these, you wanna um, assign them to the wheel, align them to the wheel. So you're gonna click the dummy, the left front for example, then you're gonna hit Alt and then A. So it goes to the line tool, which is let me see, which is this tool is on the on the top bar as well. You can click that as well and then you're gonna click on the the rim object so for left front we're gonna click on the left rim object which is right here click that and then just take these three top ones and then set these to pivot points and it should be alright click OK and that's what you're gonna do with all these dummies so we have wheel RR and that's going to be aligned to rim RR right here. Then you have the wheel RF, which is going to get aligned with rim RF. And then the last one, wheel LR, goes to rim LR, which is right here. Okay. And now you're going to do it the exact same thing for the susp uh, dummies, the suspension dummies. So suspension rear right, you're going to align that to the rim rear right, right here. And you just do the, that. You do that same thing with all these uh, suspension dummies. So LR to rim LR. Then suspension LF to rim LF and then the last one RF to where is it? RF rim RF there you go alright um, alright that's basically it for the dummies now what you want to do let me just collapse these alright now you want to drag all the we see you want to drag like all the for example all the left front objects apart from the calipers you want to drag those into the wheel LF like that and you're gonna do that with um, yeah with all the four wheels basically so the LR objects apart from the calipers again drag that God damn it. <laughs> Drag them into wheel LR. Then rim RF. Disk RF into wheel RF. And then the last one, which is the rear right. I'm going to put that in the rear right wheel. Okay, there you go. That should give us like uh, working wheels in game already. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is pretty simple. You just want to want to drag the the calipers into the suspension to the right uh, wheel position. So caliper LR, you want to drag that into suspension LR. And same goes for the other ones. Okay, there you go. And now we should have working suspension as well. So. If you don't do the suspensions, like the, um, the calipers won't turn with the wheels, for example. So you need to have those done, otherwise it will be just will just look weird. 
Alright, so yeah, that's a working car already we have right here. And now I'm just going to export it to an FBX file so we can load it up in the KS editor, which we use to um, texture the car and do the shaders of the car. And then we export it with that program to the game. Alright, so we're going to click on export. Actually, I'm going to save this first. Alright, now we're going to click on export. And now you want to have the export location set to the the place where there's also a texture folder called named like this with all the textures inside of it for the car so you want to save it right here in my case all right so i'm going to save it as um let me see super subaru um what we call it w i don't know what to call it impreza i guess Impressive you spell like that, yeah. And then 2004. Okay. And then click save. Um, now I have this temp this uh, preset for the FPX export to make it uh, work properly in the KS editor. And there's a few things you need to have. You need to make sure to have, and that's this uh, FPX file format. You need to have version FPX 2012. And you need to have the scene units converted to meters. And I think that's about it. That's all you have to change to make it work properly in the case editor. So we're going to click OK and then it will export it. And now we're going to start up um, KS editor, which is, let me see, Assetto uh, Corsa SDK. Oh uh, yeah, this is the Assetto Corsa folder, the installation folder. And in there, there's an SDK folder. And then you're going to click on editor. Then K is editor dot, dot exe right here, and you can open that. That will open the editor, as you can see. So as you can see, there's nothing right here. So we're gonna click on File, Open FBX, and then we're gonna look for the um, for the Subaru we just made, or whatever car you're making. And the FBX file is right here, so we're gonna open that, and then the car should load right there. And as you can see, it doesn't have any textures loaded to it, apart from the tires, because they were already in the uh, texture folder. Alright, so let's, we're going to do a few shaders. A few shaders on texture settings, and then I'm going to close this tutorial, this first part. And then we're going to do the next part uh, in another episode, so like uh, exporting the car to the game and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Alright, so for the body, on the... For some model we use, let me see which texture we we have right here. Right texture. Um, no, yeah, okay, that's it, yeah. And we're gonna load the. Let me see what's his name. Oh yeah, no damage LOD zero, and that's the texture of the body. And then we have the shader settings right here. And we're gonna set that to for the body. You're gonna set that to multi map. And then we have all these options right here. And for the ambient, we're going to use, I think, 45 and then 0 0.55 for the fuse, 0 0.7 for this, um, Specular XP 75, um, Fresnel C is 0 0.02. And then Fresnel XP is 4, I believe. And then Fresnel Max Level is 0 0.25. And then the, is a diff to 2. And then use Detail 1. And then Detail UV Multipliers 20. Okay, that's the uh, shader settings. Now we're going to go down, scroll down, because we need to assign some more textures. For the normal, we use Flat. And then for the maps, we have a map.dds. And then for detail, we're going to use metal detail. And as you can see, that gives a much better result for like the body of the car. Right, I will include pictures. Um, I will inclu include some pictures of these uh, shader settings in the video as a download or something to make it easier for you. Right, um, that's the that's the um, what you call it, body. Alright, now we're going to do some shaders on the rims right here. Uh, this is the blur rim. So, I uh, 
what you do is by the way when you want to assign textures to a specific object you're going to right click on the object so when I when it textures things on the body you're going to right click on the body right here as you can see it will come up with these settings if you want to do the rims you're going to right click on the rims and there you go alright so that's the rim blur and you can also choose the materials right here there's all the materials on the car. It's quite a lot of materials, so yeah, I won't be able, won't be able to do them all in the, the tutorial. But yeah, I will do. A, I will show most common textures, most common materials. I would say. All right. Um, we have the blur rim right here, and that's gonna need the texture. See wheel blur, LOD zero right there. And then for the wheel blur, you need to make sure you set this to alpha blend as you can see so you can so it's see through and then another thing you need to make sure is you need to for the uh, for the for the blur rims and for pretty much all the alpha objects so for the windows for example which need to be transparent you need to um, go to the object right here and then make sure you set is transparent through as you can see that gives a whole different result to the rim and you need to do that for each object, not for each material, but for each object. Okay, so that's the rim blur, and now we're gonna do some shaders on that. And um, we're gonna use the KS per pixel reflection uh, shader for this, and then we're gonna have 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5, I think. Then 75, and then um, phew, 0. Point I can't remember. <laughs> Something like this, I think. And this is how shiny you want them. So, for example, f 15 will give you like pretty shiny rims. 0. 0.5 will give you like like more. Uh, like normal color rim. Okay. Um, hold up, I'm just gonna open this program real quick so I can <laughs> have a look at my uh, other car stacks just to give you the best uh, example. So I can just guess numbers right now, but it, I'm sure it's not good. So I'm just gonna open this program right here on my other screen so you won't be able to see it. Okay, there you go. Alright, yeah. I no wait shit. That's the wrong car. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, sorry for this for me doing this. Almost there. Loading the car now. Okay, there you go. Materials. Okay, for the rim, we want to use these settings. And I started wrong already. So you want to have 0 0.2 right here, 0 0.4 right here, and 0 0.6 right here. Then you want to have 75 on this one. Then 0 0.02 on that. And then 2 on this. And then a diff to this one. And this is just however you shiny you want it to be, so that's up to you really. I'm gonna set it to 04, and it always looks brighter in this editor than it actually is in game. So, yeah, it will it will look a little different in this editor than it looks in game later on. Okay, that's for the rim blur, and are you gonna use the exact same um, shader settings for the blur? Let me see, blur lip. You might not have all these same uh, materials, but yeah, as long as it's uh, as long as it has to do with the rim, you need to use those textures or those shader settings. And for this one, we're gonna use wheel LOD zero, and then reflection zero two zero four zero six seventy five zero two two one and 0 0.05 okay and 
En als je kan zien avond uh, dan die um, is trans transparenting on this one yet, so I have to do that still. And on this side as well. Oh yeah, and just just to uh, let you know, if you want to know how to move around in this KSL, you're gonna use the arrow keys. I have had some people asking me that already, so I just yeah, I think I just let you know how to move around, and you can look around with the mouse, obviously. All right, um, let's see rim blur, and we did the rims, uh, the 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 blur lip. And now we're gonna use the uh, now we're gonna do the actual rim, which is right there. And we will use the exact same textures for that, and shader settings as well. So let's see, reflection again. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 75, 0 0.02, 2, 1, and 0 0.05. Okay, and then we have the wheel black, and I don't think this is a visible object, so we're just gonna put dark, dark to DDS, which is just basically a dark gray texture. I'm gonna use that and just leave it like this, so it's not visible. So I can make it. Yeah. If I do this, it doesn't even. Sh oh, yeah, you can see the inside. You can see it shining all the way through right here. Uh, I was just able to see it right there. But yeah, it's barely visible, so I just leave it on zero right here, wheel black. Okay, so then we go to the we see inner rims, and that's the inside of the rim. So I want to use dark for that as well, and almost use the same shader settings as the. Uh, what am I saying? Not dark. I want to use the uh, <laughs> wheel LOD as well for that. And I'm just going to use the same shader settings for that as well as the rim. Um, shit. Two, one, and 0 0.05. There you go. Alright, that's our rims done. And now let's just save our, um, our project right here. So we're going to go on File, Save Persistent. And what this will do is loop. Oh shit. Okay, it will create this file. And as we open it, we just open it with the uh, notepad. As you can see, it will uh, save all these shader settings right here. So these these objects don't have shaders yet, or shader settings yet, not proper not proper ones at least. So. Yeah, but we'll save in there. So just make sure you need those that you have these two files in the same uh, folder. Otherwise, it won't load up the uh, the previously done shader settings and textures. Okay, um, let's do one more texture. Let's do the tiles. And what we have for this? Let me see reflection. No, we don't want to use reflection. We use KS tiles right here. And we have a few different, um, few different maps for this. So we have the uh, TX normal, which is the car tire normal. And that will give us like the, uh, like the nice bump look. So you can actually, so it actually looks like a tire. <laughs> so it doesn't really look like that flat. And then we have the dirty. So that will be used when the, when you drive over the grass, for example, like right here. When you type this on one, you can see the tire gets dirty. Or you put it on 0 0.2, it gets a little dirty. The more you put it, the dirtier it gets. So 0 for that. So the game will adjust that automatically when you drive over the grass or something like that. And then the TX Blur, which is right here. And then the Blur Normal, which is right here. Okay, and now we're going to use these shader settings. Let me go to my other screen again and find these shader settings for this particular tiles. Alright, so, um, for the ambient we use 35 and 0 0.2 another 0 0.2 and 6 
then we all go all the way down to fractional XP right here one and then is a diff the addif additive I think it is yeah whatever um yeah one for that and then uh, fractional max level I want to keep that really low so it doesn't really look too shiny so a little bit of that because if you're gonna put it like this it just looks <laughs> it just looks weird it looks like a groom tie almost it's just weird uh, so yeah you want to have that on a pretty low uh, level alright there's our tires so basically your wheels and tires are done right now and the body of the car as well um, see how long this video is going on for almost half an hour okay that means I'm gonna sh well not half an hour because I skip a part out so um, I'll do one last thing and that's the windows and for that we're gonna use a glass texture which I have right right here glass DDS and as you can see it's not transparent yet because you have to set to mold to alpha blend right here in blend mode and then you need to do the same thing again f as we did for the rims you're gonna have to set the object to is transparent otherwise it won't work as you can see that will make it look good and you do that same thing for all the uh, windows Oh, huh? That confused me. What the hell is that? Black glass window. Okay, whatever. Oh, I know why. There's uh, there's another there's another object in front of that, which is the uh, what you call them, the 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 defrost lines. We'll do them too, actually. So, all right. So windows, and as you can see, it doesn't really look like windows yet. So we ha we're gonna have to change the shader settings again to make them actually look like windows. Uh, let me just find the window texture on my other car. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna set this shader to KS per pixel reflection, and then we're gonna have this to 0 0.1, 0 0.15, then 430. Then fractional C is 0 0.12. Then this one is 0 1.5. The additive is whatever, however you say that. I did. Alright, I did it. I did. Oh my god, I'm, I can't say it anymore at all now. Whatever. Alright, fractional max level uh, 0 0.3. And as you, can, as you can see, it looks actually like Windows right now. They might look a little bright in here, but that's just because of the chaos editor. So in game they will look perfectly fine. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do is the uh, defrost lines right here. So we got to go inside the car with this editor. Oh yeah, and another thing you might want to consider using is the uh, shift button and control button for this chaos editor. If you hold shift, you can move really slow, and if you hold control, you can move really fast, as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty useful as well. Alright, so defrost lines as you can see, and that's using the no damage texture as well. So we're gonna load that, then put these specific these uh, texture settings right there. And as you can see, we have the defrost lines right there, and then you're gonna set this to al blend mode alpha again, alpha blend right here, and then again we do set this to transparent and as you can see it will actually look proper now alright I'm gonna save this and I will continue in the next episode so yeah thanks for watching and I really hoped I helped you so far already with this if you uh, if you're planning to make a car or something so yeah uh, I will be doing more of these uh, shader settings and I will be actually exporting the car to the game as well so you can see how it looks in the car in game and so you can actually see how it's how you export the car all right so thanks for watching and uh, see you soon